In this video, I'm going to talk about how you use your panel using the Chrome box. So there are four ways you can interact with your board. You can use the board by itself right now. You can use the Chrome box, which I'm going to talk about in this video. You can plug in your computer either to the wall or to the outlets in front. Or the fourth way is using your computer projecting wirelessly. So let's focus on the Chrome box. So the Chrome box, to get to it, you can hit the source button and click USB-C. And right now it's not set up to automatically kick, turn the box on. So you may have to go over here and hit the power button once or maybe twice, it depends. I've, sometimes I've done it two times, sometimes I've done it three times to wake it up. So the Chrome box, what is that? Well, it's literally taking a Chrome tablet and putting it in a box back here. So you're literally only using the Chrome browser. Okay, so right now I'm in this mode. I'm gonna switch and just say, please browse as a guest for now. In a different video, I'll go into full detail on how to use the Chrome box. But right now, as you can see, it just opens up the browser and you can see the beach balls down here. So I can click the beach ball to open the browser. And then I have my files, which the files will be whatever is saved on this board. Now, it, the great thing about the Chrome box is it is Google Chrome. So if I log into this with my school information into the browser, it'll pull all my bookmarks from my Chrome browser that's on my personal computer and my school computer under my school account. It just, it'll all be right here. So that may be really helpful for a lot of teachers. If you have a lot of bookmarks in Google Chrome, get out, switch over to the Chrome box and log in as you. We do need to check a couple of settings things, so don't jump in right away. We gotta figure out if the guest account, if I log in here as me, and I log off the off the panel and the substitute teacher comes in on the guest account and then they switch over to Chromebox. Are they in as me or are they in under the guest account? We still have to check that out. So check back on that another time. Now something I just want to remind everyone is that when you go to switch the panel, when you go over here to use these tools, as soon as you click any of these tools, it's going to kick you off of the Chromebox. So if I go to whiteboard, I am now off of the Chrome box. I am now back to the active panel. So when I go, if I close, if I minimize this, I'm back on the active panel. I'm not using the Chrome box. So I have to go back, hit the up arrow. I can do this over here too, of course. Source, USB-C to go back to the Chrome box. Okay. So same thing. The only tool that doesn't do that is the annotate one. The annotate tool will not kick you back over to the panel. So like if I click recent apps and I click this one, I'm back on the panel. I have left the Chrome box, I'm back on the panel. So let me go back to the uh, Chrome box. So again, capture. Capture will work in the Chrome box, but then if I open a whiteboard, boop, there I go again. I'm leaving the Chrome box. Okay. So the Chrome box is great if you want to do everything online through your Google Classroom, Seesaw, Class Dojo, anything like that. You can or Class Flow. You can do that in the Chrome box. Yes, you can do it on the panel itself, just you have to log in, okay? So this was just going over how to use the Chrome box as your input. I'll do another video going more in detail how Chrome box works. But again, the other ways you can do it is use the panel itself, have your computer plugged in, or use a personal computer screen share, which those I will have done in a different video. So hope you have fun exploring our active panels.